Uh, doctor, thank you so much for your time. We really do appreciate it. So you've had a really good look um, about at, at the, the, the waves and, and how different they are. So you've got a couple of images. One of, in, in, in this first one I want to put up, you've, you've placed three waves from Gauteng on top of each other. Well, it's the two, the two waves we've been through and where we are in the third wave. So I, I wonder if you could talk, uh, talk us through that first image. So, okay, first of all, actually what we've got is we've got the three waves uh, uh, the image which is in gold and we can see uh, that the um, first wave the second wave fairly similar actually and the third wave is already looking very strong just talk us through that first good evening Sally um, yes um, Gauteng is the epicenter of the virus in South Africa and really um, the, uh, showing a concerning spike uh, which is mostly responsible for the surge that we are seeing nationally. Um, yesterday, the province reported just over 7,800 new COVID-19 infections and the highest daily figure on record. Um, concerningly is the rise in the number of, of new infections reported daily. Um, there have been over 38,000 new cases in Gauteng over the past week. That's over 60% of the total cases reported in the country, but it's still rising, um, and that 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 week on week figure has increased by 80% compared to the previous week. So Gauteng now really entering uncharted territory where new daily cases are exceeding what we saw during the peaks of the previous, the first and the second waves. Yeah, and if we look at that next picture where you've superimposed the three uh, all together over each other, and if you look at the black line in that image, which is the current rise of the third wave, uh, when we bring it up, I mean, it looks like it's heading for the sky. It's just, it's going up almost perpendicularly. I spoke a little earlier to Bruce Malado, and um, he actually said that the next three days in Gauteng are going to be um, are going to be absolutely critical uh, in terms of what the virus is doing in this uh, in this province. Uh, do you agree with him? Yes, indeed. I think I think the next. Um, next week to two is probably the most critical where we're heading towards a peak in Gauteng. Um, and with the rising infections, as, as you mentioned, um, the, the current wave surpassing the previous two waves peaks um, and, and, and doubling about every eight days at the moment, um, the concern then is um, not only the burden in the number of cases that we see, but then the burden that we will see on hospitals and healthcare facilities too. So I think the next week in Gauteng is really crucial and our behavior and what we do right now will influence how high we go and how long that peak does last. Let's look at that hospital um, image. Uh, you've looked at what's happened to our hospitals. Uh, you've looked at this per week from the very first wave. Um, we're already halfway up the second wave uh, in terms of hospital admissions. And we're only going to be peaking sometime early July, I believe. Um, because we're rising in infection so quickly here in Gauteng, does that indicate uh, that we are going to be running out of beds very soon? Yes, Sally, there remains a strong link between the number of cases and the test positivity rate that we see, and then thereafter, the, what we see in the number of new hospital admissions and ultimately in the number of deaths. With the rise in new cases and the rise in test positivity rate confirming the rise in infections, the rise in hospital admissions will still continue. Last week, there were almost 3,000 new hospital admissions in the province of Gauteng, um, and in total, currently, there there are over 4,600 uh, patients in hospitals across Gauteng, with over 1,000 of those currently in ICU facilities. So I think the healthcare system is already burdened uh, with re some reports of, of hospitals struggling. Um, unfortunately, the, the next two weeks are pretty much locked in because of the lag effect and because of the incubation period. So the, the hospitals will remain burdened and continue to see a rise in admissions as we still see a rise in new cases. 
Of course, Gauteng is the epicenter of this third wave, and uh, we are driving these infections. But you've also looked at all the other provinces as well. Could you just talk us through um, the other provinces? Some, of course, are, are already through uh, the third wave. Um, so that's good news in a sense for, for them. Uh, but we are seeing quite sharp rises in other provinces. So just talk us through the areas of concern. Indeed. So maybe just to start with, with the possible good news is that we, we, we think that Northern Cape and Free State may have passed their peaks, um, although they, the case loading is still high. Um, and at the moment or this week, the number of cases are similar to what those two provinces reported a week ago. Um, then the, the big con concerns beyond Gauteng are, are the three other big provinces. Uh, Western Cape um, is increasing at the same rate that cases in Gauteng are increasing, um, if, uh, although at a lower case loading. Um, cases in Western Cape have increased by almost 80 percent compared to a week ago, or doubling every eight days. Um, the, the other two big provinces, Eastern Cape and KwaZulu-Natal, while the case incidence is still low, the rate of increase there is also very high, both increasing by about 70 percent compared to a week ago, or doubling every nine days. So those three are really a concern. They're about two to three weeks behind Gauteng's trajectory, um, and the rise right now is a concern. There's also increases in Limpopo, Northwest, and in Pumalanga. So the infection really is, infections are really seeded in all of the provinces um, and, and rising across all right now. All right. Well, thank you so much for crunching the numbers for us. We appreciate it. Senior researcher Dr. Ridwan Suleiman of the CSIR.